what Jan left out from the um, uh, historiography was the fact that I'd met this very clever uh, PhD student from Belgium at the time with his supervisor, Jan Clarice, Professor Jan Clarice at Liverpool Poly. And uh, there I was, young, naive academic, hadn't finished my PhD yet, sharing a room with Tom Riley, the, the great, uh, one of the greats of sports science, Adrian Lees. And then in comes uh, Jan Cabri, uh, you know, at my level, uh, PhD student. And wow, what an inspiration. Uh, he, ma he made me up my game. I had to up my game there because he, he was another role model. So I was surrounded by these very uh, influential role models. Then Jan comes from uh, uh, Free University of Brussels yes. um, with Jan Clarice, and uh, it was another level. So thank you, Jan. Kind words. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is, is not actually uh, about virtual reality too much. That was the title I submitted in April and I was focused on that. And then I started doing some background reading and I just got blown away uh, by uh, some of the papers I read out there. I'm going to talk about enrichment, uh, athlete enrichment programs. Enrichment is, as I stumbled upon it, um, is, is a bit fashionable now, whether you're talking about enrichment of children at schools, enrichment um, of um, people, in life, everyday life, to become um, better thinkers, use their brains better, um, use their visual systems, their perceptual processes better, um, but also enrichment of life for elderly people, people with diseases and injuries, etc. I've become much more drawn into that, uh, and I'm, I'm very much interested in that. Virtual reality is tagged on at the end, I will talk a little bit about that, but that's uh, an aspect of enrichment. And what I want to talk about today is, is I want to focus on this. My reading of the literature so far is that this is really important. This is what we need um, in understanding enrichment of people's lives, their learning, their development as people, etc., um, their, their ability to cope with disease. And I'm talking about from a um, a, a movement perspective, a psychological perspective, uh, emotional and social perspective as well. How can we, uh, as individuals, um, academics, researchers, people who are working in um, applied settings, how can we enrich the lives of others? So I think it's quite important that we do that. Uh, so I'll be talking about the theoretical framework that's needed for it. Okay. So uh, what's on my mind lately? Um, I'm 